Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain, Shrey, speaking. The weather looks great uh, today. Shrey? Uh, uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I was just trying out the flight simulator. Uh, <clears throat> Today we'll be learning about Singapore's aerospace industry. Now this industry is responsible for engineering aircrafts and making sure that these planes take you safely to other countries. Now, wouldn't you like to learn about the science and engineering behind this fascinating industry? Well, this is Shrey reporting live. Welcome into the world of aerospace. A repair engineer? Yes, I'm Ming Ping. I'm the repair engineer here. Great! Ladies and gentlemen, this is our very first interviewee of the day. Sir, can you tell us what are the key tasks in your profession? We do repair design work for engines and aircraft components. If a shop floor engineer faces a defective components that is beyond the repairable limit in the manual, that's where they will consult us. So for us, we have a team of experts to look into it and to analyse the defects so that we can provide a variable solution for them. In addition to that, we do other projects like cost reduction and process improvement projects as well. Wow, that sounds so exciting. And then can you tell us, um, what are the services offered in this industry? Oh, in this industry, um, we focus on the MRO, maintenance, repair, overhaul of aircraft and engine components. There's also a shift from the MRO to manufacturing and design of aircraft components. Wow, I want to thank you so much for a great introduction to this industry. Thank you so much, sir. Hey there, did you know that Singapore, the second smallest country in Asia, has one of the largest concentrations of aerospace companies in Asia? Over 130 companies have set up their HQs in our region. Changi Airport is widely recognized as one of the best in the world and has over 450 accolades. In 2013, the industry achieved a record output of 8.7 billion Singapore dollars. And over the next two decades, 35,000 new aircrafts are expected to be delivered. Well, with that said, let's find our next interviewee. Whoa. I wonder what's in there. Excuse me, sir. Yes. I'm a reporter. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about your work? Oh, sure. I'm Michael. I'm an engineering services engineer here. Perfect. Can you tell us a bit about your typical work day? Sure, it starts with providing support to the operations in the areas of innovation, process improvement, troubleshooting, and uh, functional tests of the engine control unit. It is a component that is fitted on the aircraft engine that uh, automatically controls all the process of the engine itself. So um, what we will do, we will test the unit, and should it fail, we will do troubleshooting, repair the unit, and ship it back to the customer. And in the process, we may have to uh, communicate with the customers regarding the fault that we have found on their unit, as well as higher level troubleshooting with the original equipment maker. Wow, it really sounds like you know a lot about this industry. Can you tell us a bit about the type of professionals this industry is looking to hire? Sure, in Singapore, the MRO industry is pretty well known in the world. It accounts for more than one quarter of the MRO market in Asia. And currently, Singapore is also going into areas of uh, aerospace design. Uh, manufacturing and R&D. So we're looking for people with the knowledge of aerodynamics, propulsion, avionics, as well as familiarity with uh, materials and uh, manufacturing. Well, it seems like you need an extensive set of skills to join this industry. Well, thank you so much for your time, sir. You're welcome. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you performing some maintenance on this aircraft? Oh, no, I'm actually a manufacturing engineer. I manufacture components in this aircraft. Wow, um, could you tell us a bit more about what a manufacturing engineer does? Sure. We support the transition of new products from design engineering into manufacturing phase. And then we get involved in the pilot builds. We draft out job instruction sheets. Then we do engineering document reviews. And then we also do process analysis. From there, we try to identify areas of improvement and then or any cost reductions, then we lead the solution implementations. Aside from these, we also provide technical support to any production issue. Wow, well, what are some of the skills you need to excel in this job? 
you need to have some knowledge in manufacturing processes. Then you need to be familiar with the usage of engineering softwares. Right now in the industry, the common ones used are um, Unigraphics, AutoCAD and CAM, and SolidWorks. Then as an engineer, you need to be attentive to details. You need to be self-disciplined, uh, safety cautious and systematic problem solving ability. I knew I was right to interview you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. What a day. It truly was awe-inspiring to meet professionals who build vehicles that enable mankind to soar through the sky and send brave astronauts into space. Well, see you next time on our next episode.